we can have the same thing take place. We're just working out the logistics to make sure everything comes together. Um, with, with all of that, with all of that, I don't know where that thing is going, but uh, there is, forgive me, there is uh, a time where the, the, the man of God got to talk about some stuff, amen? We have a lot that happened last week. Amen. Uh, in particular, with the Supreme Court and decisions they made on Friday uh, and Thursday as well. Um, because of those decisions given on Thursday and Friday, and because I stand as God's man here at the Camden Church of Christ here in New Jersey, I, I feel I need to address something. Um, so I'm not going to take long. This ain't going to be a second sermon. But uh, on Friday, I shared a statement on Twitter and then I copied it and shared it on Instagram that I like to share here and online for the public who observes our and participates in our worship services. Uh, what I stated, what was stated was, I am a devout Christian. I believe in self-defense. I might lose some of y'all here. Concealed carry should be legal. I believe abortion is sin. Abortion should be Legal. I didn't expect that. The same way that banning guns won't stop crime, banning abortion won't stop abortions. You cannot legislate morality. With that said, I believe abortion is sin. I believe that it is wrong, it is evil, and it is unrighteous. Also, I believe that it should be legal, but not for the reason that pro-abortion advocates are stating. I believe that we can never understand the last fruit of the Spirit in Galatians 5, self-control, without having a choice. I believe that every person in the world has free will given by God. Note that the Scriptures teach that the Mosaic Law could never make humankind righteous. It just pointed out the wrong and the sinful. Free will is given by God because He wants humankind to choose Him. It is impossible to force a choice and then say it was done in righteousness. This time that we live in points to a very large problem that American culture has. No self-control because of a lack of consequence. To desire to do whatever you want to do and then choose to eliminate the consequence indeed shows no self-control. That is the result of a sin issue. The only way to overcome that issue is to choose God. To truly choose means to weigh the reward for each action, whether a good reward or a bad, re bad reward, and then make your choice, not an excuse. I say all of this from the place of 1 Corinthians 5, verses 9 through 13, which says, Paul writes, I wrote you my, in my letter to not to associate with immoral people. I did not mean at all with the immoral people of this world or with the covetous and swindlers or with idolaters, for then you would have to go out of the world. But actually, I wrote to you to not, not to associate with any so-called brother if he is an immoral person. This would be sexually immoral person or covetous or an idolater or a reviler or a drunkard or a swindler, not even to eat with such a one. For what have I to do with judging outsiders? Do you not judge those who are within the church? But those who are outside, God judges. Amen. The church supports choosing life and godliness. To choose the Lord and his righteousness, we believe and we affirm it is the best choice in life. For this, for, who, for, for this who've chosen sexual immorality or, 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 or covetousness or idolatry or a reviler or a drunker or a swindler or abortion, the Lord's love and mercy is still available. You just have to make a few new choices and choose Jesus. Take it from someone who's done a number of things in that list, in the list in chapter 6, the next chapter over, including abortion. We've had that conversation. I am not... And the Camden Church of Christ is not pro-abortion. We firmly, we are firmly against it. With that, the ruling giving on Friday does not impact that choice at all. And it is not a reason to celebrate. Amen. Y'all don't understand. The Bible actually says in Colossians chapter 4, verses 5 and 6, don't be a jerk. That's the Ken Spence translation. Amen. 
This country is not, nor has it ever been, a Christian nation. To those celebrating that decision with the mindset that God finally won, must have missed the lesson that God won from the foundation of the world, that God won from the cross, and that his winning had and has nothing to do with a man-made government. Perhaps if the church in America taught what the scripture says in regard to sex, marriage, pregnancy, love, grace, mercy, decision-making, and consequences, without considering them, we can't talk about them topics for Sunday school. Maybe we wouldn't be in this mess today. We have so many people who do not understand themselves, do not understand their choices, and why to choose God, and, and then we claim they are fully competent in adulthood by age 18. Unfortunately, that is not the case. We cannot change the past. We can only correct and improve for the future. Amen? There are services and organizations like the church that provide support for pregnant women and low-income families with unwanted pregnancies. Finally, to those, even Christians, who are screaming that now the church needs to provide support for women and children, I urge you to scream that at the people that promote that they are pro-choice but only support one choice. You are as polarizing as the decision that was made on Friday. The church has, especially in the hood, amen, especially in urban areas, been there to support families figuring out how to feed and clothe their children, partnered with community resources to help families individually and collectively to ensure that people could find work and helps that the church doesn't have. If you are just joining the foray to support, catch up before you open your mouth erroneously. That's, that's too hood. Amen. The ruling on Friday does not change or impact the stance of the church. We are pro-life and anti-abortion in every facet of the imagination, I can confidently state that we also believe that the choice is yours because God declared that the choice is yours via free will. Our hope is that you will choose God. With that, let's close in prayer.